Hello, in this video we are going to cover the button object. Well, a button is really simple. It's something that you click and it performs some functionality. So let's just cover what it does in Cocoa Studio. So you can just get your button from the widget section within the object section on Cocoa Studio. So I'm just going to drag and drop that. And if I actually run this as it is, we have a button and if I click it, it has two states normal and clicked the third state if we scroll down I'm more ugly I'm already scroll down which is disabled but before I go into that let's just quickly cover the scale 9 grid so we've got this feature called scale 9 grid so if you know about that it's pretty cool you can use you got checkbox if you don't want to use it some more parameters so that's a, another advanced feature if you want to check that out so getting back to the different states we got normal pressed and disabled and the text itself is via input what we've put in Cocoa Studio or what we can put I should say. You don't have to have it like that you could have nothing in here and actually have these with text in it and that's what we're gonna have. So what we're going to do actually before we do that I'm gonna demonstrate to you how to change a font file it's really simple so you just click on this you can it only supports .ttf and .ttc website that I really recommend and love to use would be dafont.com d-a-f-o-n-t.com a lot of the fonts are free some are paid some are donationware shareware that sort of stuff it tells you what the situation is so if I just double click this font and if I run it it's a little hard to see so what I'm gonna do is just tone down the design resolution so the button itself is bigger and now run this bad boy actually well, you know what I'll zoom in so you can see it as you can see we have the button it's got a different type of text to it so it's that simple to just well change the button text so as Lux said we're gonna get rid of that you can also change the the color as well so if I wanted a more reddish color I can go red and I can change the font size as well so if I wanted 11 and now that almost fits inside but again we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna replace the normal pressed and disabled states and what we're going to do we're going to double click go to the desktop and I've got three different images right here go for normal and that imports it as well if it's not already imported go for pressed so let's go to desktop and press is that one and finally disabled which is this one right here so let's just oops it's easy let's just scroll up and sort out the sizing because obviously the size is not correct hmm Oh, I think a little more could do 70 yeah that's this seems relatively okay the ratio hasn't uh, it isn't exactly correct but we don't really need that for the purpose of this tutorial so let's just move it about and if we click play ooh, look at that see how dodgy that is but ignore that because I haven't I just haven't put the correct so if I click it as you can see it uses the clicked image and if I go back to the feature section if I click disabled it uses the disabled image and if I play that and I'll try and click it it doesn't show the normal or the pressed image because well it's disabled so the user can't interact with it and that is it for the button feature within Cocoa Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. Don't worry, you don't need to remember that. There will be a link in the description. Actually, one thing I forgot to mention is Cocoa Studio doesn't support coding. So you'll need to actually implement this in your game using code in your project, whether that's Cocoa Studio DX or Cocoa Studio JS. Don't worry, we have a link in the description for that, which is a link to our API guide which shows you how to implement it into your project. So yeah, just check that out. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.